I don't know what it was about this day, but I was just in a really reflective mood. I mean, the three hour car ride definitely helps you think about a lot of different things, but I just took the time to reflect on this year as a whole for me in 2022. I had just spent, you know, two weekends back to back with my friends, celebrating two different weddings that were absolutely awesome and beautiful, seeing my family for a long extended period of time. And I just realized how many things have changed for me this year and how much those things are kind of starting to affect me. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. It is another travel day, but this is definitely a hectic travel day. We had the beautiful wedding of Aaron and Christina Short yesterday up in the UP, about three hours away from La Casa. I'm getting back to La Casa. We are going to have to start packing immediately for both Utah and for Florida. And I also have a photo shoot tomorrow in Florida. I'm trying to get a bunch of different things packed up, packed out. We have about uh, an hour till we have to leave for the airport. And we're not even back at La Casa to reset, regroup. So we definitely have our work cut out for us. But, you know, good positive attitude, more money. Hopefully I don't have to spend more money. Like I'd rather not, obviously. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's get back to La Casa. Two hours later. Hey, Ma, thanks for dropping me off. You're welcome, son. I pray that you will have a safe trip. Okay. Sounds good, Mama Cita. All right, let's grab my stuff. As you guys know, my life's changed pretty drastically this year in terms of stability. I guess I didn't realize how much even though I can thrive in chaotic situations and, and make the most of when things get hectic, I never really realized how much I actually appreciate stability in certain areas of my life. So to have a place that I used to call my own that's now gone, to not see my friends or my family or my dog that often, and when I do see them and by the time things kind of feel back to normal, I have to leave again to travel. I didn't realize how much that was wearing me down, but I, I guess it all came crashing together uh, on this day where I just realized how important it is to have some form of stability and how the people around you are sometimes the most stable forces in your life whether you realize it or not. I try to make the most out of every situation. I don't really try to complain uh, because I do feel very blessed in my life and I try to portray a positive attitude and mindset because I do think life is very difficult and it's very hard and there's so much negativity in the world today that I don't really want to feel like I'm adding to it. But I do think it's important to take a step back and reflect on my life and what my life has been like this year. And so I just wanted to kind of make a more serious video to let you guys know that even though it seems like everything's all great online and not just for me, uh, for anybody really, that's not always the, the case, you know, like sometimes things get really difficult and it, you know, what's cool about YouTube, uh, you know, being able to document and share my life with people and hopefully find common ground to, to, re ugh, to relate to more people. Hopefully somebody out there that may be experiencing this can help me or somebody who's feeling this way too now knows that they're not alone and to be able to kind of just talk to the camera talk to you guys in long form content. I do enjoy that as well. And I just wanted to, to put that message out there that even though things may appear great, people can still be sad, people can still be lonely. I came to the realization that this is probably the loneliest year of my life. And it was kind of a tough thing to realize, to be honest. It made me very sad. And this, this whole travel day that I kind of documented and you can can see that the, the tone shifted throughout the video um, in terms of what I was filming because I just wanted to take the time to reflect and I just realized how lonely I feel uh, some days. You know, it's a tough feeling to deal with. But it's, it's not insurmountable. Um, you know, I, I do believe that maintaining a positive perspective despite 
you know, many negative factors in your life can be helpful. Yes, you know, you can't just be positive and problems go away, but viewing things through a different lens instead of just focusing on the negative can help, which is usually why I don't try to touch too much on the negative and which is why I try to be so positive. And I just kind of wanted to take a step back because I wanted to be super honest and transparent and hopefully create a community where people can come together or at least relate, you know. It's, it's really tough to feel like, to not only actually physically be lonely, but then to actually feel like you're alone on top of that. That, that amalgamation is just <laughs> brutal. Um, so if, hopefully this video finds somebody that if they're struggling with that, they know they're not alone and, you know, we're all in this together. And no matter what things look like, you know, you never know who feels alone. I just kind of want to take this, the time, this video to reflect a little bit more of a serious tone. So I apologize for that, but I, I just had to be real with you guys. And um, I really appreciate it if you guys watch this far into the video. And I hope it was helpful to give some insight. That's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this different style video. Uh, if you could, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, share the video with a friend. You guys know the drill. But most importantly, don't forget to have a great day or night. Don't forget to keep God number one. God bless.